Welcome back to Good Day State Line. Today we get the chance to talk with Isabel Lazo. She is an essential oils expert. Good morning, Isabel. Good morning, how are you? I'm good, thanks so much for checking in with us today. There are so many people watching who wanna know the best ways to treat our skin any time of year, any year, but really right now, we're, we need some help, Isabel. Tell us about yourself first. Well, I've been in skincare for a while now. I started making soaps when I was 10, actually, so essential oils have kind of always been a part of my life. Mm -hmm. And I'm really pleased to be able to share that knowledge with everyone. Okay, so tell us about which essential oils we need to be using. Well, you know, it's funny. I think summer and winter are usually the harshest on our skin, but those transition months, and especially now in fall, give us a really great time to start switching up our routine, just so that the impact of the oncoming months won't be as dramatic. Um, as far as essential oils to incorporate, I am really recommending right now jasmine essential oil. Okay. It is amazing. It does everything from anti-aging to help with dry skin. But the unique thing about it is that it also helps control oily skin. So it's really an easy essential oil to incorporate into any routine. Okay, so when we're talking about using these oils on our skin, what exactly are we supposed to do? Because I am not good at just guessing when it comes to something like this. So how do we apply it? Right, there's definitely a safe way to apply essential oils and I would recommend never applying them directly onto skin. That's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> right. What you need is a carrier oil, and that can really be depending on your skin type, but there's so many carrier oils that we can use. Anything from olive oil, avocado oil, to something a little bit more exotic like sweet almond oil. Mm -hmm. And then you just add a few drops of your desired essential oil. You can even make your own blends and mixes. And then that way you can safely apply them to the skin. So that we're talking about the pure oils. Do not put that straight to your face. No. Good, good tip. Thank you, Isabel. Now, you're talking about jasmine being a great one to try right now. Which oils should we be avoiding on our face? Um, I think right now, I would definitely avoid using bergamot. Bergamot is photosensitive, which means it can cause adverse skin reactions when in direct sunlight. Okay. So I think that's one that we definitely need to steer clear up right now. Okay, so what about chamomile and tea tree? I think tea tree oil, that helps acne, right? Yes, okay. tea tree oil is amazing. It has so many great benefits for the skin, um, but I would definitely recommend not using it directly on okay. your skin. I know a few people who've tried it and it can definitely kind of burn. Mm -hmm. So that's one that we definitely need to dilute as well. And chamomile has amazing properties when it comes to calming redness and irritation. So it's incredibly hydrating as well. And you wanna mix these essential oils with oils, not water, is that correct? Correct. Okay, you can even add a few drops if you've got kind of like a good clean skin lotion or something okay. like that. You can mix it in maybe with some shea butter or something um, just to kind of give it a different texture, but definitely always mix it in with something else. Okay, that is so important to know. Now, I wanted to ask you personally, and because I know a lot of viewers have been struggling as well with maskne, this acne that I thought was gone at 33, and then all of a sudden all around, you know, we are wearing our masks. We've been seeing all of this. So what do you recommend for helping with that? I definitely recommend focusing on cleansing the skin properly. You might want to start cleansing a little bit more than you normally did. Mm -hmm. um, you can even use what I've found to be really helpful is combinations of witch hazel, which is gentle enough on the skin to be used twice a day, maybe even three times a day. Um, and it's able to kind of help kill the bacteria that might be found on skin. So you are clearly an expert, and I feel like a lot of people have been watching, they wanna know more about you. Where can we find more information about you and then find more information about essential oils as well? Yes, at isalazo.com, that's I-S-A-L-A-Z-O.com. That is perfect, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you so much, have a wonderful day. You too, bye. Coming up next, we're Skyping with the team behind the Crayola Mask Packs and giving you a chance to win some. But first, it's time to name our fan of the week. We asked you on Facebook to send us your favorite mask photos. 
And our winner today is Jennifer LaPierre. Jennifer sent us this selfie with her birthday mask, which I kind of love. And now she's going to have a good day state line bag to carry around with wine glasses, sunglasses, and a t-shirt, and more. Thank you so much for watching, Jen, and for being our Facebook fan. Tomorrow afternoon, we'll let you know how you can be our next fan of the week on our Facebook page. So make sure that you go like the Good Day State Line Facebook page in order to win. Speaking of masks, we're giving you a chance to win some masks for your kids coming up next on Good Day State Line.